everybody, and welcome back to this week's edition of the New Variety Art Show. We're glad you're tuned in here on your public access station as we prepare to meet another exciting guest from the world of variety arts. I'm Brad Zinn, your host, and uh, welcome to the show again this week. You know, we've had all kinds of variety arts performers here on the show, from clowns, mimes, jugglers, hypnotists, psychics, belly dancers, caricaturists, and uh, we hope that by giving you a chance to meet these fascinating and upcoming uh, entertainers of tomorrow, that you'll have a better appreciation of what it is that they do, how they learn to do it, why they do it, and the next time you see a variety arts performer live and in person, you'll have just a little more understanding of what, uh, what it is they're all about. And uh, we'd like you to contact us, by the way, if you have an idea or a comment or a question about the show. As always, the number is... And let us know if you uh, have a variety arts performance coming up of some type, uh, some kind of a circus event or a variety arts show of some kind, or if you're a variety arts performer and like to be on the show, let us know what, uh, what you're up to. And here's somebody that we'd like to know what they've been up to, uh, our musical director, Van Corriton. Well, hi, Brad, once again. What have I been up to? Well, I remember we had Bob Blumley on oh, the show. Oh, yes, Robert Blumley, Dr. Uh, Juris. Right. I did a terrific party at the university club uh, that he put on. And he, he invited had, you to come and play and the... And play, uh, and he had a number of magicians there and psychics. It was Some fabulous. of the people that have been on this show. It was like seeing my life flash before <laughs> me of this show, exactly. <laughs> Doc Hilford, I understand. Yeah, he no. was wonderful. Yeah. Only we didn't cut them off after 30 minutes, you know. Oh, I see. Actually, they only were allowed to do one thing each. Uh -huh. so. Now, what did you tell me about Larry Becker, the mentalist that was there? You said when he got there, he... Oh, he went, he knew just where his invitation seat was, where he had the little place card. He went right to it. I watched him. It was amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> As if but he what could was funny minds. was watching all these magicians trying to do tricks so the other one during the breaks, you know, <laughs> trying to fool the other ones. That's great. Well, Bob, uh, thanks for not inviting me. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're glad you invited Van. Uh, we'd like to let people know where some of these variety arts performers can be seen. Uh, Flash Covington is uh, still at uh, Rawhide and Cafe Creole playing saxophone there. Uh, Kenton is at Maryland's. Bob Morgan is at the Goldfield Ghost Town in Apache Junction. Gene Urban at 10 Downing Street in Scottsdale. Kevin Barnes up yeah. at the Excalibur Hotel in Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. Jay Malbro and our good friend Alan Jeffries, uh, who hasn't been on the show, but maybe someday, at the Adobe Oven in Ahaha. Uh -huh. And, of course, John Crowley over the summer is up at Professor Hanratty's Theater of Magic and Illusion, Silverton, Colorado, and Kim Welsh, who will be uh, a guest on our program is at the hop and I don't know if they uh, are aware of this but we need to uh, we need to mention about the show coming up in January. That January, we yeah, have. it's not that far. Yeah, Lynn Roberts, one of our friends that's been on the show, uh, is uh, going to be doing his big band jazz show, mm -hmm. and I will be a special guest on the uh, show January 21st of 93. God, that seems like such a long way away, doesn't it? But it's really just around the corner. Really? Showtime is 7.30 p.m. It's at Alhambra High School. Uh, our good friends over there at Alhambra have a, a let us come back again. 37th Avenue in Camelback. You can get tickets at the door. Uh, or call the show if you want more information. Doors open at uh, 7 o'clock. So we hope that you'll join us for the... Uh, what are you doing? Uh, a little magic and, uh, and a surprise. I don't want to give it away just yet, but a uh, little surprise you there. You will. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, let's talk about our guests today. We have yeah. some uh, great guests. They comprise yeah. the Cactus Road Barbershop Quartet. Oh, wonderful. And what variety art show, Van, would be complete oh, without yeah. a barbershop quartet? I mean, when you think of vaudeville, mm -hmm. you think of variety acts. And dog uh, acts. And dog acts. You have to have a barbershop quartet. Uh, barbershop quartet singing goes back a long, long way, and where would groups today like Manhattan Transfer be, exactly. or the, even the Beach Boys, without the harmony that the barbershop quartet singing right. uh, bring to uh, popular culture? Um, the Cactus Road Quartet represents the Scottsdale chapter, and I want to get this exactly correct, of the Society for the Preservation and Encouragement of Barbershop Quartet Singing in America. Incorporated. Incorporated. <laughs> very old society. Very, very important to get that ink in there. They have performed at Harris in uh, Laughlin, Nevada, and at the Maricopa County Fair, and they're with us here today, and we're going to meet all of them two at a time, because we have a small studio. Yeah. So follow me. We're going to go over and meet the Cactus Road Barbershop Quartet. Here they are now. This is Marlon Rigg. Marlon, sure. thank you very much for uh, making time to be on the show today. And uh, Marlon, uh, let me ask you a question before I introduce your, uh, your cohorts here. 
Uh, Marlon, you and I already have something in common. We're both uh, baritones. <laughs> but I don't sing harmony too well. Uh, is, that, is that a tough part of being, uh, being a baritone? You get to sing the harmony more than you get to sing the melody? We do sing harmony all the time. Uh -huh. There's very little melody involved in the baritone line. Yeah. Uh, we always like to say that the baritone is the toughest part. <laughs> we, get, we get what's left. Well, very good. How long have you been singing barbershop? Uh, very quartet. close to 30 years. Uh, started out in 1964 in Fargo, North Dakota. Fargo, North Dakota. And how did you make it all the way down here to uh, the desert? Well, it's been a real long roundabout trip. I have 15 years in Chicago and then northern Wisconsin and then uh, about nine years in Dallas and uh -huh. finally Phoenix. What do, what do you do uh, for a living? Well, right now I'm a painter. I paint houses and I actually paint anything that won't move for 10 minutes. I <laughs> <laughs> now, now, do you have trouble getting paint out of that uh, very lovely mustache you have there? Uh, no, I usually try to cover that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Wear a little mask over that mm -hmm. so you don't have to pick uh, paint out of that. Right. Uh, let's introduce your cohort here, uh, Colin McKinney, who is the uh, bass singer for the Cactus Road Quartet. Is that right? Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, Colin, you, you have a, uh, a very unusual job. You want to tell us uh, what it is you do during the uh, hours you're not singing barbershop quartet? Well, as often as possible, I'll sell a car. Oh, I don't know I if, you, if you're in the market, you can try to work <laughs> something out. It won't take, won't take long. Tip, typical uh, car salesman. You work at one of the dealerships here, and uh, you might need to adjust your mic there just a little bit. Uh, one of the uh, car dealerships uh, out in the Mesa, is that right? Mesa, Fiesta, yeah. Lincoln, Mercury. No. Oh, we got in a there plug. There we got uh -oh. the plug. We, <laughs> got that in. we may have to uh, edit that out. We need another plug. We need to make another plug. About what? Well, uh, the, uh, the quartet. We represent the Paradise Valley chapter of the right. Society for oh. Preservation of Barbershop. Well, Barbershop now, your America. promotional material said Scottsdale, so that's what I took it from. I'm sorry. You it's can't trust a car salesman. <laughs> 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 so it's the Paradise Valley chapter. Paradise Valley the chapter. Society As a matter of, of fact, we were in the Scottsdale chapter, and we've organized this new chapter. And they threw you out, or what? No. <laughs> no, we, we just organized, decided we wanted to uh, organize a new chapter up in the Paradise Valley area. I see. And uh, uh, are, how many groups are involved in that chapter, then? How many different uh, barbershop quartets are there? We have a couple in the, in the chapter. Uh -huh. uh, we have about 30, 35 men in the chapter right now. And uh -huh. we're trying to get more, more quartets and more men all the time. Very good. Well, uh, if anybody out there is interested, they can call this number at the uh, top of the show or at the end of the show. We'll pass them along to Great. you. Great. Now, tell me, what is this relationship between the, uh, the barbershop quartet singers and the, and the Sweet Adelines? What, how does this work? A lot of people are confused on the relationship between the two groups. The only relationship, relationship is actually the harmony, the uh, style of the harmony. There's no uh, relationship between the organizations. So the men's group and the ladies' group are completely separate, is That's that right? That's correct. That's correct. Uh-huh. Well, how long have you been singing barbershop quartet, uh, Colin? Uh, does that uh, count in school? <laughs> does it go, go back that time? <laughs> if we, oh sure, back in, I uh, sang, in, sang in the high school quartet uh, when, I was in, when I was in high school. Uh, uh, what, my, where would that have been? That was in Yates Center, Kansas. Yates Center, Kansas. Yates now Center, what is that Kansas. close to? Because I have About 100 miles east of Wichita. Okay, I have uh, an uncle in Wichita, worked for the uh, Boeing uh, company mm -hmm. for many, many years. His mm -hmm. son works there. And uh, all of my relatives come from the Topeka, Kansas area, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. and, well, uh, we're, just, we're just about 80 miles south of there. They yeah. localize us. Well, neat. Well, maybe somewhere in there, uh, our families are running. My, my grandfather raised racing greyhounds out in the rural Tecumseh area. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, so you probably uh, ever been to a dog race? Not in Kansas. Not in Kansas. Not in no, no. Not in those days. <laughs> you know, they, they, they didn't race dogs in Kansas. They had to send them down to Florida. Well, listen, have uh, Marlon, let me ask you about... Um, Besides just being a lot of fun to do, to get together and, and, and sing, they also have competitions for barbershop quartets. Uh, tell me a little bit about your group. Have you been in any competitions? And uh, No, we have not been in any competitions. We, we have decided that we're not going to do competitions, at least right away. Uh -huh. uh, we formed this course to relax and have fun singing and do it well. Uh -huh. um, th for this reason, we're not going to put the pressure on these guys that it takes to do the to do the rehearsal time to go uh -huh. to contest, yeah. it's uh, it's very very taxing as far as time is concerned. Yeah. Now one would think just off the you know if you weren't that familiar with barbershop quartet singing, you'd think that this was kind of a dying art. But actually the opposite is true. Is that right? That's I mean, exactly right. And where where is the is there a lot of young blood coming up in uh, barbershop quarteting that's going to carry on for? Many years, or is uh, yes, there's there's uh, a lot of young guys coming in now. They've started a new program w in the high schools. 
Uh -huh. it, it's called Young Men in Harmony. It's, it's handled by the Home Office in Kenosha, Wisconsin. And uh, they're starting, they're, they've had this program going now for what? Five, six years that I know of, mm -hmm. that I remember for sure. Uh -huh. And uh, we're trying to get a couple of quartets going in, in out of Thunderbird High School. Oh. We had a little competition uh, early in the spring this year. They, uh, there was a, a quartet that won from Cactus High School uh -huh. out here. So that they won that high school North Valley, our, right. our uh, neighborhood mm -hmm. out here. Yeah. Very and good. And well, um, how many, how many uh, people would you say are involved with this nationwide? I mean, uh, d is there any idea of what About the numbers 38, are? 38,000. 38,000. 38,000. Now, these mm -hmm. are just members of the Society for the uh, Preservation and Encouragement of yada, yada, yada. Okay, I'm not going to say the whole <laughs> thing. It's too long. <laughs> <laughs> now let me ask an, uh, a question about the style of barbershop quartet singing. Uh, obviously it's harmony. Oh, I know what I was going to say. You were talking about this young group. The, have you heard Boys to Men? This, this, uh, uh, it's a new group out and they're very hot and they're out of the east, but they do a lot of harmony and I'm sure it's, you know, uh, that these high school students that you're probably uh, approaching are probably going to say, oh yeah, I heard Boys to Men do all that harmony stuff and it would be neat to do it. Can you do any song in, in barbershop style or does it have to be a song that's written for barbershop quartetting? No, there are very few songs that lend themselves actually of the, of the present day thing that lend themselves to barbershop harmony. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know all the ins and outs about about arranging barbershop music. I do know that there are songs that absolutely the lead line will not fit uh -huh. uh, because there's a, there's a home base and you go off to four or five different chords and you always have to come back to that home base. A lot of the mo modern popular songs do not do that. Yeah. Who, who does the arranging for I in your group? The, um, Stu. The, Stu? The, the and we'll meet him in, mm -hmm. a, in a little bit. And is Stu he your... He arranges, steals, whatever. Uh, yeah. And whatever he's your lead yeah. singer, is that right? He's yeah. the lead singer. Lead. Now, now what's the difference between... Uh, what does lead sing? I know it's the lead line, but I mean, is it uh, necessarily baritone or tenor or alto or what? How do you define lead in terms of music, musical in normal, range? normal choirs, uh, you'd hear it, hear it called as second tenor as far as the uh -huh. range is concerned. Uh -huh. But basically, we call it lead because it's, it's the melody and he leads the song. I see. Okay, well, that answers that. Tell us about performing up in uh, Laughlin, Nevada. Now, that sounds like an awful lot of fun. They, uh, they seem to be a little more hometown and down to earth in Laughlin than Vegas, which is all the glitz and glamour. Uh, that must have been a lot of fun. When did this happen and how did it come about? We've been there twice, actually, uh -huh. uh, two years in a row. In, in, or, no, it was two years, but one, one year off uh, at Harrah's uh, in March. The, the, they have a barbershop weekend that they kick off, and they have uh, usually the Scottsdale Chorus goes up, has been, uh -huh. and uh, then they have uh, four or five or six or seven or eight quartets if they can get them. Yeah. And the whole weekend is designed around singing barbershop music everywhere in the casino. And pulling a few slot machines. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> I'm oh, sure yes. that's part of the uh, itinerary yes. there. And we pack the place every year when we go up there. Yeah. Well, you know they actually pay us to go up and do that? Yes. Uh -oh. Don't that's say that too loud. They'll yes. find out and then you'll be in trouble. <laughs> uh, I always said if anybody finds out how much fun we have doing this, uh, we'll never get paid. Uh, tell us about this show now that you have coming up. We have, uh, we have some information to put up on the screen about this show at Thunderbird uh, High School. Is there a name to this particular show? Because um, we didn't have that information. Is there, no, there's not, a, there's not a name yet per se. It's a, it's a barbershop show. It's an evening of barbershop music. An evening of barbershop music. So if you want to see, now will the Cactus Road Quartet be performing this, yes. this night? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's right here on your screen, October 23rd and 24th. Of uh, this year, 92, and the curtain time 7:59. So don't be late. And it'll be at the uh, Thunderbird High School, 19th Avenue and uh, Thunderbird Road, or close to it. And if you want information about tickets, we have a number there for you to call. That's 780-1553. Uh, and I hope the guy that has this phone number knows that uh, we're telling everybody to call him, <laughs> so yeah. that his phone won't ring off the wall. And honey, what is this? Uh, what are all these? Calls? <laughs> so uh, this is going to be an evening of barbecue. Are there going to be other groups uh, on the show with you? Is that, is that right? Yeah, the chorus uh, will put on the main part of the show. The now chorus. This is the Paradise Valley Paradise chapter. Paradise Valley chapter. Okay, it's putting on the show at Thunderbird High School. Yes. Now, are you going to have any of your uh, young um, 
high school uh, quartets on? We're trying to get a quartet right now. Uh -huh. Even as we speak, we're working on it. So okay, so we're trying to get trying to get a quartet to come from Thunderbird. Ah, so well, it wouldn't be far be for them the to go, would it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they just stay after school one day. That's there you all. go. Yeah. Show up. So plans have been finalized, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, I am a member of the Convention and Visitors Bureau, and I saw something that uh, caught my eye in a recent listing here, and I wanted to mention this. The Society for the Preservation and Encouragement of Barbershop Quartet Singing in America, and by the way, they left off the ink, mm. uh, is having the Far Western District Fall Convention coming up October 8th through the 11th at the Hyatt Regency in Phoenix and the Civic Plaza. Now, can you guess how many people they're expecting? Do you know? Because the, the Convention Bureau tells me they're expecting 25 hundred people, 2,500 people. Now, are these all members of the society or? Are the, uh, members and families. Members yes. and families. Yeah. Okay. Now, I had asked, I think it was you, is this open to the public? Tell Absolutely. me about this. Absolutely. Uh, uh, I don't have a phone number at this very moment. But th they can call us is, and we'll put them in it touch. It is but. open to the public, absolutely. Uh -huh. The tickets will be $20 a piece for the, and that covers all the events. All the events. All so the events. So it's uh, one price covers all. Right. And thing. it starts on a uh, Thursday night, I believe. Well, the 8th, whatever that is yeah. on your calendar. So it starts on Thursday night and go through Friday night and then Saturday afternoon and evening. So it covers all the events. Wow. That's incredible. So. Well, listen, gentlemen, I, I don't want to uh, cheat you out of time to sing here. It's been a lot of fun. We're going to swing over now and we're going to meet the other two members of the Cactus Road uh, Quartet. In the meantime, we'll give you a chance to get out of your microphones and uh, then we're going to join everybody up at one time. I'll just sit right here and I uh, think we can talk across the studio here. Uh, this is Stu Wilcox, uh, the first gentleman over here uh, by the microphone. And Stu, you are the uh, lead singer, is that correct? I am the lead. Ah, terrific. Hi, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And standing next to you is uh, Lynn Reed, is that correct? Correct. And Lynn, you sing tenor, is that correct? Get in a little tenor. closer to the mic there so we can be sure and hear you. Right. And uh, tell us now, uh, how long have you been singing, Stu? Oh, in barbershop, probably 10 years, uh -huh. a little over 10 years. Now, what sparked your interest in all of that? Did you have a musical background before I this? Did. I did. I had done saloon singing and uh, folk singing, all those kinds of things in the past. Fire Played and rain and, yeah. and, and oh, yeah. I lost my dog and that kind Absolutely. of thing. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and after you're in the music world for a while and you get married and, and you have kids, somehow getting home at four in the morning just isn't uh, it's acceptable a anymore. Yeah. Barbershop tough. singing is, is fabulous for the closet musician. Yeah, everybody in barbershop quartet uh, singing, it's, it's well known, goes to bed at 8 o'clock. So yeah, well, absolutely. you probably worked into your Sometimes life. Sometimes 8.30. Uh, <laughs> Just perfectly. Lynn, uh, tell us about your background. What do you do for a living uh, when you're not singing? Uh, I'm an engineer in facilities at the uh, Motorola plant in Mesa. Oh, really? Yeah. I've done a lot of work for Motorola, and you probably came in and cleaned up after me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You keep the building running, is that right? Yeah, right. That's I'm a mechanical engineer, and that's I do a big have a lot to do with the piping and the air conditioning. Uh huh. Very good. And how long have you been singing? Uh, 20 years. 20 years? Yeah. So together, you've got, what, about 80, uh, 80 90, 100 years between the four of you, is that right? Super. Well, we're dying to hear you sing. I hope you have uh, plenty of numbers prepared for us. Why don't we get uh, gather around the microphone here, uh, gentlemen, and uh, let me uh, move these chairs over just a little bit. Yep. Uh, there we go. And, uh, folks, we're going to hear from the uh, Cactus Road Barbershop Quartet. Uh, hit it, fellas. A smile. Keep your sunny side up, I'll find the side that gets blue. If you have nine sons in a row, whoa, baseball teams make money, you know. Keep your funny side up, up, let your laughter ring through, dude. Stand up on your legs, be like two fried eggs, keep your sunny side up. When you're smiling, when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. When you're laughing, when you're laughing, the sun comes shining through. But when you're crying, you bring on the rain, so stop your sighing, be happy again. Keep on smiling, cause when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. So keep a song in your heart, greet the sun with a smile. Sing.
sing it, you bet, where the Cactus Road Quartet. Singing in a barbershop style. So let a smile be your umbrella and keep your sunny side up. More? More. Do another? Do more. Do another? Another? Encore. Pick another tune. Sometimes in barbershop we try to do uh, rousers like that. Other times we try to just do a nice, sweet, simple tune. This one's called um, The Church Bells Are Ringing for Mary. There's just one girl I Let's call do another one. Sweet. Let's just do a different tune. Let's do a different tune. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh. You want to do a... Happiness. Do you want to oh, do uh, Okay, let's do happiness. Happiness, sir. Uh, we know this tune, honest. Happiness shared with someone who cares is only a man. She had stolen my heart, I didn't know, till we drifted apart. The church bells are ringing for Mary, a pal and a sweetheart was she. Stand outside and hear, here comes the bride. How empty my life seems to be. I never dreamed that I'd miss her until I saw someone else kiss. The church bells are ringing for Mary, and they're ringing their heart out of me. Oh, how I envy that boy at her side. Oh, how I wish it were. Uh, how many hours a day do you get together and practice and rehearse? I mean, uh, what what is your <laughs> regular, do you have a weekly mm -hmm. schedule, like you get together every Thursday night or something? Usually we try once a week. Uh -huh. Usually we try once a week to get together and sing uh -huh. for about three, three and a half, four hours, depending on the time we have. Wow, that's great. And uh, uh, do you get together, uh, you know, socially? I mean, do you, you know, play cards or go golfing or camping or fishing or whatever? Well, kind of. We haven't done anything too much that way. We, we grab the wives and go out to dinner, you know, and uh -huh. we, we do uh -huh. enjoy that. Yeah. All the wives get along very well, too. Oh, right? that's good. Well, that's that helps much. a lot. At we'd least really, they believe we'd, you. We'd really rather sing than play golf. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they believe you when you, when, they, when you say, hey, I'm going over to rehearse or whatever. So. Yeah, they do that. Do you have a, another tune you can do for us? Uh, and uh, I don't know how we're doing on time here, but uh, we want to do uh, another tune. And 
And if I have to, I'll break in and say goodnight. But uh, let's go ahead and have the Cactus Road Barbershop Quartet favor us with another tune. Pitch play, another please. Round. Where, where I talked to her across the telephone, never seen my honey, but she's mine, all right. So take a tip and leave this gal alone. So, hello, my baby, hello, my honey, hello, my ragtime gal. And tell me that you're mine. Hello, 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 hello. There, tell me that you're mine. Tell me that you're mine. Oh, unbelievable. That's great. Do you ever have any disagreements over uh, who's going to sing what, uh, where, and when, and who resolves all that dispute? Marlon sells them all. <laughs> <laughs> you, you carry the uh, big stick, is it? Well, right? yes, that's what they like to tell me I do anyway. I, they, they give me an opportunity to say, well, we'll do it this way, and then they do it the way they want to anyway. Oh, I see. I see. That's how it works. Yeah. Did we find out what you do uh, uh, every day uh, when you're not singing, Marlon? I think I ask everybody else, but I don't think I ask you. Yes, I'm a painter. I paint. Oh, houses. that's right. That's right. Yep. We talked about the paint on your mustache. Paint houses. Oh, goodness. Well, I'm, it's been a long uh, week. Well, we're, uh, we're getting ready to take it out of here. I'm going to say bye-bye uh, for now, and we'd like to have you do one more song as we go out. Uh, stand by. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Thanks, Van Corriton, our musical director, every day at the Phoenician 3 to 5. Uh, tune in next week to the new Variety Arts Show. In the meantime, support Variety Arts in your community. Once again, the Cactus Road Barbershop Quartet. Yesterday I heard a lover sigh. Goodbye, goodbye, oh me, oh my. Seven times he got aboard his train, and seven times he hurried back to kiss his love again and tell her to 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 see goodbye. To 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 see, don't try. Believe me, the choo choo train that takes me. Away from you, no words can tell how sad it makes me kiss me to see and then, and then do, do it over again. again. Oh, watch for the mail, I'll never, fail. I'll never fail. If you don't get a letter, then you'll know I'm in jail. Oh, ta 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 see, don't cry, don't cry. Ta 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 see, goodbye. Somebody says goodbye.